Hello everyone, welcome back to Sacred Tarot by Nicole. I'm very excited to have you back on my channel for today's pick a card reading, which is messages from your higher self. So as you can see, this pick a card reading is going to be a bit different. So this pick a card reading is the same in the front, but I've also incorporated oracle cards that I will be pulling and they're going to be messages from spirit. So we have work your light oracle cards and messages from the mermaids. So if you're not familiar with pick a card readings, how they work is you choose the pile that you are most drawn to. So we have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. I have also placed crystals on top of the piles just in case you're more drawn to the crystals than you are the pile. So on pile number one, we have gold stone in the shape of a heart. Pile number two, we have opalite in the shape of a heart. And pile number three, we have selenite in the shape of a circle. Now I also want to bring the camera closer to give you a better idea of the piles and the layout here and see the crystals a little more clear. So I'll do that. And then I do recommend meditating on the piles, maybe for a couple minutes, uh, maybe a couple seconds or a couple minutes, however you feel comfortable uh, with which pile you really want to choose. So do give yourself some time to pick the pile that's really speaking to you. Now, don't forget to look at the timestamp below in the description or either in the comments to see what pile is being read at what time. Also, I want to mention we are in a new space here. Uh, I love the fact that I can be very diverse with my spiritual spaces. I love it so much. All right. Now let's begin our pick a card reading about messages from your higher self. But first, I want to bring the camera closer and zoom in and give you a really clear shot of the pick a card reading. All right, everyone. Pile number one, messages from your higher power. All right, so right off the bat, I want to say there's all reverse cards here. Now, reverse cards don't always have a negative indication. It could mean something that you're working on or something that you've worked through, or it could have the opposite meaning of what it be upright. So some cards do have a pretty negative meaning or maybe not the nicest card when it is upright. So here there's actually, you know, there's two cards. So the five of wands reversed and the tower reversed are actually very good cards when they're in reverse positions. So the tower reversed here and they're both outside cards. So I feel like this is a very uh, powerful suggestion here than while well, they're cradling the other two cards. Uh, so five of wands. We also have the ace of swords reversed and the four of pentacles reversed. Now, what I want to start with, I want to start with the five of wands. Now, the five of wands reversed, it can mean that there is a bit of uh, pettiness or competitiveness in your life, or you feel like that sometimes, that you have a very competitive nature, but it's something that you're really working through right now. And the word petty can, can really be quite a negative thing here, but I feel like it's maybe something you felt very petty with in the past that with the five of wands being reversed I feel like you're growing up going into a more grown-up way of looking at things and not being you know so negative when you're coming into situations or when you're uh, dealing with some of your partnerships and your relationships and your friendships because you realize that you have great strengths great talents great skills that you can bring forth and when you concentrate on what other people are thinking of you it may turn you into a very petty state or very competitive state, which is, is just hasn't been serving you in the past. So now it is time to look within and you're getting to that strength. And that's why the card is reversed because it is something that you're really working on. You're working on getting to that point of understanding that you can be successful or you may already be a very successful person and you don't need to comp compete with other people or you don't need to be so hard on yourself or compare yourself to other people because you are finding the path that works for you. 
Now the Ace of Swords reversed does represent not seeing things clearly or not being able to see through the illusion of certain situations. Now I feel like you're, these are things that you're really working on. You're really working on seeing a clearer light, maybe with people around you, maybe with yourself and maybe how you react to certain situations and maybe you haven't reacted to certain situations in, in a very kind or nice way. Now with this card being reversed, it could also indicate someone around you that is acting like this, uh, someone that is really bringing you down. And maybe you could have this really nice, soft, gentle nature to you. And someone is trying to be really competitive with you. And you're trying to see a light. You're trying to see through this. You're trying to see through this illusion. And it's just not quite clear right now because this person could be very, very kind, very very nice, but it's your higher self telling you that there could be something going on here that you need to pay a little more attention to. And it could indicate that you are this person that is being maybe not the nicest to another person. And there, I just feel like there's a lot of conflict here. There's conflict within your relationships and it could signify more friendships here or more, maybe more family. Or it could have some a love interest, but I, I'm not seeing any cups cards. So when cups are represented, they, cups represent love. So what I have here is we have swords, we have wands, pentacles, and then we also have the tower. So the tower indicates when it is upright, it indicates destructive behavior, chaos, like total destruction of, of something like something completely falling apart. Now, because this is reverse, I feel like maybe it has already happened. Something has already happened where you are now growing, you're learning, and you're rebuilding, you're rebuilding. And it could indicate a friendship or a relationship that you're rebuilding, and it could indicate the relationship with yourself. Something happened here that really made you spiral into this looking within. Looking within and trying to figure out what either you could be maybe doing, I want to say wrong, but it's kind of, that's kind of a negative way to look at it. Um, maybe some, some things, some paths or way you went about things weren't really lining up with your higher self. It was out of alignment with who you really are. And this, these cards are telling you that you really need to look within and get more grounded about maybe some of the situations that you're putting yourself in, or you're, you feel like you could be putting yourself in situations that aren't serving you. It's, it's not connecting with your higher power. There's something really off here, but you are working on it. That is great. That all four cards are reversed and it, this means great work great work and I haven't mentioned anything about the four of pentacles yet the four of pentacles is kind of a kind of a nasty card uh I did say in the beginning that you know not all reverse cards are are negative but this does kind of represent a bit of negativity now four of pentacles reversed indicates you know gossip betrayal feeling like you're stabbed in the back now four of pentacles is very similar to what I was talking about with the the five of wands and about the fact that about being greedy or envious of other people and not looking at your higher self and what you really want and looking within. So this reversed four of pentacles is about being envious or being greedy. And it could indicate money because pentacles do indicate money. So there is some kind of financial maybe loss or you're feeling like you're going to lose your money or there's some kind of security financial security that you're worried about. And as you can see in the card, the four of pentacles, the person in the card is holding on to the money like really tight. So when this card is upright, it has an indication that you're holding on to your money and you really don't want any anyone to take it away from you. So but you can also feel isolated. You like you're financially successful but you you feel isolated by it. Now here Four of Pentacles, when it is, is reversed, mm -hmm. it's almost like you're trying to attain that, but you're trying to attain money in maybe a way that's not working for you. Now, again, not lining up with your higher self. And when you have kind of a negative relationship with money, then what you put out into the universe will come back at you. So if you think as money as evil or you don't have enough of it ever, you're never going to have enough of it because it will the law of attraction will bring you whatever, even if you don't want it, it's going to come to you if that's what you're thinking about. So just it, it, this, these messages here are really saying choosing your thoughts better and being, being nicer to yourself, being easier on yourself because you're going through a lot of work right now. I feel like you're going into something, but you, you're, you're more working on your mindset. The transition is within 
you and so it's in you and your higher power that connection and i don't feel like it's an external force i feel like it's within it's a, a transition within you that you've you've almost like had like something really chaotic or crazy happen to you recently and the tower is there letting you know that you've you've maybe gotten to the worst part of it gotten to the worst end of the situation and if it is like an ending of a relationship, it's almost like you're getting that much closer to be being okay with it and looking more at what you really want and maybe someone that you really want to be with. So manifesting the relationship that you want to be. And it could also uh, indicate manifesting the relationships that you want in your life. Now I want to pull a couple more cards from my Oracle cards. So we have messages from the mermaids here. So recognition, recognition for your hard work. So recognition for the fact that you are really working hard to reconnect with your higher self. So recognizing, giving yourself that recognition, giving yourself that power. Get, don't, don't give that power away anymore. So if you're looking for recognition in the outside world, so I feel like that's where the competitiveness comes in and not seeing clearly and then the greed and jealousy and the tower where you're really working on it you're looking for that recognition maybe in the wrong places but this is your higher power telling you to look at yourself and give yourself a pat on the back for all the hard work that you've been doing and breaking free from relationships that are not serving you anymore communication communication is very important communication with maybe other people about how you're feeling that you know, maybe people that have hurt you in the past, communicating with them, communicating with these people and letting them know how they have hurt you. And it also depends how important these relationships are. If you need to let go, you need to let go. But this communication may be really important for you for the healing process. I want to draw one more card here. Whoop. Memories. So maybe leaving those memories behind. And looking at the memories, okay, they were good memories, and moving on from there. Leave memories as they are, and remember the good times, and start and try to remember the good times, and try to heal the bad times. Maybe not forget, because they're always going to be memories. But make sure, I think with this card, when it comes up like this, remembering to build strength from anything bad that has happened to you and move into a more connected pathway with your higher self. Here we are, we have work your light. So Anna, Godmother of Jesus, sending light, laying foundations, and divine plan. This is a very powerful card. It's a very, they're very, very beautiful pictures. So this card is reminding you that there is a divine plan. There's a divine plan for you. And if you are going through any kind of hardship right now, which I'm seeing a lot of work being done and, and a lot of letting go of things that are just not serving you, people that are not serving you anymore. There could be an indication of a breakup, things falling apart in a household. There could be a like, not necessarily a move, but like a mental move, a moving away from just really not nice things. And I really like these cards. There's two cards in the deck, yes or no. And this one is saying, yes, yes. What you may have just been thinking of while you're watching this video, it's a yes. And I'm gonna leave it at that one. Yes, it's the right move. And the last one here, I absolutely love this. Don't dim your light to fit in. That is huge. So don't dim your light to fit in. Do you have this amazing light? And I feel like someone is trying to break it. Someone is trying to keep you down and it's in order to make them feel better. And that's where I get that. I, I feel like there's the competitiveness, the, 
the rivalry, the, the, the darkness with, you know, the Ace of Swords not seeing clear, the illusion you're trying to see through. And there could be something with the, the Four of Pentacles with the, with the finances. There could be like a, a relationship here where someone controls you with money and you're trying to find some way to be financially free, you know, secure on your own. And the tower too, it just, you know, it's time for that big change. And, and it has a lot to do with your mental state, with your connection with your higher power. And good luck. You know what? I feel that it's great. Don't, don't dim your light to fit in. You're very powerful. And, and yes, to whatever you were thinking about at that moment, say yes. All right. Thank you. And that's pile number one. All right, everyone, here we have pile number two to see your messages from your higher power. All right, so right off the bat, I see all upright cards. So that is a good thing. Now, I should mention, though, when you do have reverse cards in your reading, it doesn't always mean it's going to be negative. But here we have all upright cards, which is great. So I want to start with the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords is a bit of a card about turning your turning around a bad situation or changing or doing a big transformation. It could indicate a move. It could indicate, you know, moving on from a relationship. It could indicate just you know, working with your higher power to understand yourself better. So it's like leaving the past behind and accepting the new, the future, uh, the current situation, the present. It could indicate a lot of things. So the Ten of, Ten of Swords is a really, really nice card. If you're going through any transitions and you're thinking about, you know, what road to take, uh, there could be crossroads because I do see a crossroads card uh, coming up. I will, uh, sorry, just one moment. I want to introduce all the cards. So we have the Seven of Pentacles here. So this is the Crossroads card. So when this card comes up, it means you're at a crossroads in life. So the Six of Wands here. Now, Six of Wands indicates pride, victory, and feeling accomplished. So feeling like you have done something really amazing. So I feel like maybe even like graduated, you could have graduated school, you could have got a promotion at work. There could have been something moving up somewhere. Uh, there could have been moving to a new location for work. Um, just being in a very happy, like, happier state being feeling more accomplished and so this is aligning you with your higher power this could also mean that you you're maybe starting a youtube channel i could also indicate maybe you're working online and you're much happier doing that or maybe you move from online to more in in present with people now it could e e either or it means that you've just uh, accomplished something and you're you're going into a better state of happiness and doesn't maybe not have to signify with work but it could signify too with your friendships relationships or family members uh the magician the magician's a really nice card so it is the first card in the tarot now the magician represents uh intuition uh intuitive thoughts uh feeling like you have become very successful it's a very successful card so the magician's all about confidence or gaining power maybe in, in a certain position. Uh, now, power in the positive sense. Now, power can be used in a negative way to manipulate people, but this is used in a very positive way, this card, when this card comes up and in this position. So the magician is telling you that whatever you're doing with your higher self, it's the right way. But I feel like it came came from a place of pain. Like it wasn't always like this. And this it, there was a hard road here to get to where you are now this leo is showing that the success wasn't overnight and i feel like it, you came really far and you should be very proud of your accomplishments so back to the seven of pentacles because i haven't touched much on this card so it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labor you've worked really hard so seven of pentacles represents hard work being able to to manifest what you really want and the magician is also about manifesting also about manifesting your true desires so the messages from your higher self are saying that you are on the right path. What you're manifesting right now is amazing. It's if you're you're doing the right things. You're following the right path. I feel like the finances are good, uh, the friendships, uh, family members, relationships are good. But it didn't come easy for you. There was a lot of work. There was a lot of having to turn around 
maybe some very negative situations and and there was a bit of a victim feeling here i feel like there was a you're a bit victimized and you really had to work hard to turn that around and and come into a more positive way of thinking and, and putting out to the universe what you really want and you know the power of positive thought and the magician the ability to manifest your true desires now the magician is all about manifesting what you really want you have really found your alignment with your higher power now I want to draw a few more cards to really tie this reading together because I feel like there's a, a couple more messages that I uh, want to come through from spirit now I want to start with messages from the mermaids oh. acceptance I feel like there was a time that you didn't really feel accepted and you've come into a full circle, not a full circle, sorry, half circle, <laughs> maybe 180, of turning that around. Now you feel more accepted than ever. And there's something, some kind of work you had to do with yourself where it really, it, it, it resonated with your, your soul, your, your higher power. And I feel like there could have been a move, a job promotion, like I'm saying, there's some kind of success here. And the acceptance to the mermaid here with the magician, the self-confidence, it could indicate some kind of power position that you might be in or using your experiences to help people, to heal people. And this could indicate that you are in the line of work. It could, it could be uh, some kind of psychic it could be some kind of psychic line of work or metaphysical healing or coaching, life coaching. There's something there that you're doing. Uh, it could be like yoga, anything in that line of work. I feel like you have gone into and, and it's it's made you very abundant, very successful. And not just with money, but it indicates money. So pentacles do indicate money here. I feel like it has brought you more than just money. And maybe in the beginning when you were looking for like a career or um, an avenue to go you were looking for you know just money at the time oh I need to make money um, but it brought you brought you so much more or this is something that you are working on right now and it will bring you uh, rewards effort it will bring you um, abundance and success it's something that you may not have accepted for a really long time and something that you felt was kind of weird about you and then you're like oh no I could never do this for a living but now you are, or you will be. <laughs> I feel like this is this is something your higher self is trying to tell you, that there is some kind of work that is in the healing or metaphysical healing, energy work that you really need to pursue. And letting go. I'm really happy this card came up because with the Ten of Swords, there is something that you really had to let go of and you had to, and it could have been a past job too that really wasn't working for you. And you've maybe, you know, started a path, a journey of something that maybe you couldn't see yourself doing even like a couple months ago or a year ago, but now you're just like, wow, I have found exactly what I really want to do. And the, and the 10 of swords, it was almost, there was almost like a massive shift, like overnight where you really had to move on and you had to let go. And be spontaneous. This this is cool because I feel like all three cards here, being spontaneous, letting go, and acceptance is, is maybe something that you really didn't do in the past, be spontaneous. Or maybe it is something that you did in the past and, and it worked for you, but your higher self is telling you this works for you, being spontaneous. And, and getting yourself out there, getting yourself out there to explore different situations, different work avenues, different relationships, different people, different different environments of like where where you could live. There's just so much possibility. And because you're in such a good place, you're you you've really worked through so much that it's time to be spontaneous because you can and you and you're able to do it. You have the resources, you have your higher power letting you know that it is the right time to flourish. It's the right time to get out there, go do your thing because it's it's just, there's so many messages here about how much of a right path you're on. 
Now we have Work Your Light. Soul Family. Call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. Now, I really like this card. This card came up for me when I was doing my own readings a few times, and I love it because this is this is saying that it's okay to ask for help. If you need some help, especially if you maybe uh, start a YouTube channel, there's so many avenues out there of people to help you, people to guide you, people that can can help you with you know starting a YouTube channel. Or this could also indicate maybe that you got a promotion and you need help with like figuring out how to adjust. And it's okay to ask for help. I feel like you've had to do things a lot on your own and and there was a lot of time where you had to go within uh, to reconnect with your higher power, which is awesome. Like finding that, that you have to be okay with yourself before you can outward love, that you have to love within. Uh, and you know, I preach this all the time, but it's, it's, it's to just say it is, you know, I have to remind myself all the time to do this, but this card here, soul family is telling you that it's okay to ask for help. Ask them for for advice and if if that they think you're on the right path. Now, their opinions might not matter to you as much and, and that's okay. You don't have to ask for help. Like you don't have to ask them their opinions. But this is just, you know, finding your tribe, beginning, you know, it's okay to ask for their opinions. It does not mean you have to follow through with their opinions. And it's good to get, you know, advice from others and to see if you're making the right decision in life. But ultimately, being connected with your higher power and knowing what exactly you want is the most important. But it's okay to ask for help. Oh, that's the one. Awakening. Oh, I love this card. Oh, amazing. So energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. So you're having an awakening, a spiritual awakening. And, or maybe you've already had a massive spiritual awakening. And I, you know, I did a video about spiritual awakening with trauma. And I think with the Ten of Swords coming up, there was some major trauma in the past. There was something that happened to you that was really unpleasant. And trauma can come in the form of many things like a move, a change of job, firing, getting a new job friendships uh it could be you know as crazy as like a car accident or you know abuse there there's all kinds of forms of trauma and i feel like your spiritual awakening happened recently or you've gone through your spiritual awakening so you're really connected with your higher power so the things you're manifesting right now you're on the right path right now because these are the things that you really want because you're you're so connected right now and, and you're channeling with your higher power, but it, it didn't come without really hard work. All right, and then I'm gonna pull the last card here. We tie up the reading. Transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level and deep healing. This card really speaks to me for you. So the messages from your higher power are really saying that you have healed, you have healed and you're transforming into something absolutely amazing. And you're remembering that you've separated yourself from your ego and you understand that those two are separate. And that's a whole nother YouTube video. Um, but this is just such a powerful time for you to be manifesting and transforming into who you really want to be. And going through these spiritual awakenings are so important. These two cards are such powerful cards here. Your strength is amazing. I can feel it. I can feel how the shifts, the amazing shifts that you're going through and the awakening you're going through. And letting go and being spontaneous. It's time. It's time to be spontaneous and reach for the stars. Thank you. Pile number two. All right, everyone, pile number three to see the messages from your higher self. All right, so right off the bat here, I do see some reverse cards. Now, reverse cards can have a negative indication or just mean something that you're working on or or it can mean the opposite of what it would be upright. Uh, now here, I feel like the reverse cards are kind of, you know, trying to tell you something. Your higher power is trying to tell you something. Now I want to start by introducing the cards. So we have the Three of Swords, upright. 
King of Swords reversed. The Page of Wands reversed. And the King of Wands upright. Now I want to start with the Three of Swords here. Now the Three of Swords indicate, could mean that you've been cheated on. It could mean that you have a wounded heart. Someone really broke your heart. And if you weren't cheated on, then it means that someone really broke your heart. And your higher self is, is helping you really rechart and, you know, kind of get over this broken heart. But you have to go through the motions. You have to go through the, the steps to get over the broken heart. And if you're, if you're not in that state, if you are in a relationship and you're in a very healthy relationship, it could just mean that you are feeling that there is something a little bit off maybe in the relationship that we need to, you need to talk about with your partner and that it's been on your mind a lot but you're trying to figure out how maybe you could bring it up. And, and I feel like it's, it's very healthy in that way. Like this card may not seem that healthy, but it's, it's, it's a time to maybe not just listening to your higher self, but your heart, but your heart, heart is connected to your higher self, your heart, your mind, your body, your soul. It's all connected to your higher self. So there is something there that, that just needs to be brought up. Uh, and it, but it could also indicate a broken heart and, wounded or feeling rejected it could mean that you're feeling rejected as well and it could you could be feeling rejected within the relationship as well like your feelings don't matter or there's just like a miscommunication uh, now the king of swords reversed now when this card is reversed i feel like there's some dishonesty or disbelief now the king of swords when this is upright would represent using your logic based on facts and and like kings are very powerful they're they're very powerful they're very like in your face uh they have a lot of strength uh so so people listen to them people really listen to to kings because they have so much power they feel like you know well i should be listened to well because this card is reversed it's either you or your partner or someone in your life that you're feeling like they could be being dishonest with you or being arrogant and using their power in a, maybe a way that you really don't like or you could be the one using that or manipulating that power or being arrogant or being dishonest. And it this card is just warning you that like that's going to throw you really out of whack with your higher self if this is what you are doing yourself. So if you are the one, you know, doing that, being arrogant and being dishonest and, and maybe breaking hearts, <laughs> that is not going to help your, your higher power. You know, so the messages that are coming through for me, it's just... It, it's saying that there is some disruption in how maybe you deal with your relationships that mean that you're being a bit insensitive and you need to start looking at, at a more at a more emotional standpoint and being a little more emotional and being a little more sensitive and being a little more caring and that could be why the card is reversed uh the page of wands so the page of wands is gossip and betrayal when it's reversed it just means it, it like the Page of Wands is a messenger sending a message and the message here when this card is reversed is there's some kind of betrayal or gossip. There's something that's really disruptful and it's either what like I was saying that you could be the one that is being disruptive in your relationships or your friendships but I really feel like you're just not connecting with your higher power and your higher power is, is trying to talk to you, is trying to get through that maybe some things that you've been doing and watch out for the gossip watch out for for being like a bit malicious towards people and if you're not resonating with it it could be someone in your life that you don't think they'd ever be like that but there could be someone in your life that is just you know that could be saying stuff behind your back straight straight up like that and the page of wands is there to just remind you that maybe communication and maybe maybe digging a little deeper and finding out what's going on and maybe confronting this this person or if it is you just just be careful about you know what you say and because you could really hurt someone so the king of wands and because you're powerful like this these when kings come up i can really see a powerful person here they can really use their their charm because king king of wands they're very charming strong they're confident people look up to them people look up to king of swords so you could have this power over people because they look up to you you're charming you're you're awesome like people really respect you and you're you're probably good at like everything you do uh so there could be some kind of disruption here so either a broken heart you could be the heartbreaker here <laughs> and i and i feel like maybe 
this just maybe wasn't the right relationship that you were in or the friendship and and it's okay to let go but don't maybe be negative about it and try and hurt the other person because the other person may be already hurting and and if it, if that's not really lining up with you remember these are general readings i want to say though you do have this power that needs to be tapped into nurtured this strong confident really charismatic person and if it's if we're talking about a work situation here there there are gonna be some creative outlet outlet that you need to look more into because the king of wands represents someone that is very creative and maybe very very passionate very strong organization skills that are coming through here too there's could be something that you've maybe been thinking about doing and like even cleaning like i know that's kind of a weird thing but like cleaning houses or organizing people's homes there could be something that that you've been thinking about doing that i really want you to think about because reconnecting with your higher power it could be a form of therapy for you there could be some meditation too that you really need to meditate on what you really want because i'm feeling there's a lot of uh confusion about what you want and there could have been a breakup that you could have broke up with someone because you weren't sure if they if you even wanted to be in a relationship even if you're you may need to be doing some soul searching and some reconnecting with with your higher power now i want to draw a few more cards here so we have messages from the mermaids so communication I'm really, when I was kind of looking at these cards here, I felt like there was a lack of communication with maybe other people and with yourself about what you really want. There's a, there's a bit of disruption here about what you really want and communication is very important. And, you know, I touched on a little bit on the job situation. The, the communication could be very important here with the fact that you may want to be doing something where you're communicating your skills, you're communicating things you've learned over the years. And like I was talking about the cleaning thing before, it could be a cleaning business. That was coming through for me too. The messages from your higher self, communicating, maybe helping people with their organizing, uh, it could could also indicate uh, starting a business. I think it's called concierge, concierge or, or personal assistant, where you help people organize their daily things, scheduling, because I have a feeling that you're very organized. And, and then right now, might be not a right time for you to be in a relationship. And if you are in a relationship, it's time for you to focus on yourself about what you want to do in your life. Your, your higher power is really talking to you right now. That, that connection that you need to make yourself feel important, good, and, and wanting to, you know, when you wake up in the morning, what do you really want to do? Really looking at those messages, the communication, communication with yourself and others about what you really want to do. So decisions. So I feel like there is some decisions that you need to make. And maybe the person that you are currently with is not very open to talking about maybe different avenues of what you really want to do. And maybe they don't have as much faith in you as you do, which is something that you really need to think about. Because I feel like there's a lot of confidence here, but that sometimes you feel like you don't like you're wounded or rejected, like you there you don't like you you don't believe in yourself and and you feel rejected and, and it could be just relationships that you, those are the kind of relationships that you attract. And these are decisions you need to make about who you're gonna let into your life and who you're gonna let, you know, rule your life. It should be you. It's you know, you should be the ultimate decider of what you wanna do. And if people are not supportive, then you need to maybe communicate that because <laughs> that's important. Communication is very, very, very important when it comes to your you and what you want and your connection with your higher power. And waiting. I feel like you have been waiting. You have been waiting for opportunities and you've been waiting too much. And I feel like it's time now to make those decisions, communicate your plan. You've done the waiting, you've done the soul searching, you've, you've done the, the wanting to manifest what you really want. It's time 
to put your plans into action. Mm -hmm. All right, now I wanna draw three more cards from Work Your Light. The Ever Unfolding Rose. So cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you. Hmm. Cracked open, it's happening for you, not to you. That's interesting. So the unfolding rose is all about things opening up for you and maybe not even realizing it, like that it's happening for you. Now the ever unfolding rose Cracked open is happening for you, not to you. I feel like you might be going through a difficult time. There may have been a breakup. I feel, I'm feeling really strongly about this. And there's wounded or disbelief or there was someone that maybe cheated on you or, or cheated you out of love and, and made you believe that, you know, they loved you and the rejection. So I'm, I'm just getting a, a powerful message here. And, and the ever unfolding rose, it's time for you to cry like to you know let the emotions just come out it's okay to be emotional about this you got hurt it is time for you to go through the grief of it go through the grief of the loss uh break it breakups there and you know there could could have been a passing as well um someone that has passed away and and this card is just it it's unfolding it's the ever unfolding rose it's okay you know, through hurt to crack open and let all those feelings in because it's part of the healing process. And the part of the healing process is this, the ever unfolding rose. Share your voice. Come out of the cave, persecution and expressions. Now I want to bring this up uh, with the fact that using your voice in the fact that you are a very strong person you are very confident and this could have something to do with starting a business so sharing your voice and your opinions and like with the communication card so the fact that you are already a very confident person but there's something going on here that's a little out of balance and you know i'm just feeling a bit of negative feelings around that but i feel like you are on the right track of letting go of certain things and and reconnecting with that higher power and reconnecting with what you really want and letting go of maybe the pain and the in pain in the pain in the past so communication share your voice too i love this uh, share your voice and it could mean indicate some kind of job that you want to get into where you're using your voice more you're communicating uh you're using like the power that you've been given power in a positive way i hate saying power because sometimes I, I look at power as negative because people can manipulate their power but i don't think that you're like that um, but i feel like that someone has been like that towards you there could have been some unfortunate circumstances like someone wounding you or a breakup or cheating but it could also indicate that the malicious gossip and like for you to be careful about that. Share your voice, but share it in a very positive way. Start putting putting positive positivity out into the world because when you're putting negativity out in the world, that's coming at you. And when you have that, you know, negative mindset, not nice things are going to come towards you and you are going to feel that pain and and wounded disbelief cards here. So three of swords, just be careful. There's share your voice but in a positive way. Make those decisions that you've been really wanting to manifest. It's time. But be careful right now. All right. And there's also something that is linked up with this card, the mermaid card. So saying no, it's a very direct card. It's a very simple, straight up card. Um, wait, postpone, pause and say no. It could be the wrong time for what you are trying to manifest, but 
you know, I just said in with this card, share your voice, that it is the right time. We could be talking about two different things here. So I think with the moving on, maybe there could be you're thinking of a new relationship, about maybe entering a new new relationship, but you still have this feeling of feeling wounded because you were hurt really bad, maybe in a past relationship. So it's no it's not the time. Waiting. Wait. Wait. Reconnect with your higher power. But share your voice. Decisions. This could have something to do with a work situation and your ideas that you have. It's time to really work on yourself to reconnect with your higher power. It's not a time to really let maybe new people in that are going to not serve you properly because it is time to it's almost time to hermit like I'm surprised the hermit card hasn't come up it's time to look within maybe your motives and the way you represent yourself to the world and it's time to say no to wait but also there could be two different things that we're talking about here and so there's a postpone with the one thing but with the other thing it is time decisions you have been waiting it is time to communicate your plans it is time to go forward but also look at your motives and look very closely at why you want what you want but you also need to go through some grief right now and let yourself heal let the healing process begin maybe because you probably haven't let, you probably kept it all in and it'll help you reconnect with your higher power. This was a really hard, hard one because I feel like there was two massive messages coming through here. To begin one thing, but l let the other thing wait. There's two things coming through. And you know what it is. You know what it is to say no to right now. All right, everyone. Thank you. And that's pile number three.